Libra, you are up again. This is your birthday bonus reading. Okay, so for those who may be new to this, whatever season it is, everyone gets a birthday bonus. And they get a birthday bonus for every single one that I do for that month. Because I do a general reading, a love reading, and a, month, and a money reading. If it is your season, which now October will be Libra season, then you will get a bonus general, you will get a bonus love, and you will get a bonus money. So really, you get six readings for the month. All right. Where to start? KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Okay. So, yeah, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person sitting here reading the energy and the tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. This will be a very basic reading. May I have the energy for Libra? May I have the energy for Libra? May I have the energy for Libra? What is it? My head's itching. What is it that Libra needs to hear? Not that you needed to hear that, but I had to let that out. <laughs> My head is itching. <laughs> what is it that Libra needs to hear? At the bottom of the deck is patience. This kind of goes back into your general reading, Libra, where a lot of Five of Cups energy was coming in. You, you're going to need to be patient with yourself is what's going to happen. What is it that Libra needs to hear? May I have some cards, please? I might even title this that, Be Patient With Yourself, but we'll see what comes out. May I have a card for Libra, please? That must be a certain one. This one. Makes sense. May I have another card, please? You know what? It's just what I'm hearing. Going back to that patience thing. For some of you, thank you. For some of you, what's at the bottom of the deck? Happiness is at the bottom of the deck. For some of you, you notice how long it was taking for a card to come out? While I was doing that, the energy that I was also picking up is like, this is the example of patience. Some of you feel like you've been putting a lot of work into something and you've been waiting. I'm trying to get comfortable on the stool. For those of you watching, wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> you've been putting a lot of work in and you're like, okay, where's the results? I've been doing all this work and I'm not seeing any results for my labor. I'm ready to reap the benefits of the seeds that I planted. So it's not harvest time yet. The harvest is coming, clearly, with happiness at the bottom here. Um, first card that came out is focus, though. Don't let the lack of results, or let me rephrase it. Don't let you not seeing results when you want to see them deter you from being focused on producing results. It's almost like if you're not getting results, you start to lose that passion, which was another thing that was mentioned in your general reading, passion. You may start to lose that passion. And if you lose passion, then you're probably going to lose focus. You have to stay focused is what has to happen. Also, you have to have courage. Courage is the second card that came out. During all of this, you have to have courage. Though those things will carry you to happiness. Those things will carry you to happiness. Let me take a few tarot cards right quick. Let's see what's coming out. May I have the energy for Libra? May I have the energy for Libra? What is it that Libra needs to hear? May I have the energy for Libra? What is it that Libra needs to hear? What is it that Libra needs to hear? Now, that's interesting. At the bottom of the deck, this is your energy. 
Empress. This is Venus energy. Venus rules Libra and Taurus. Um, also, it can be Cancer energy, too, because Empress is the mother of the tarot deck. Cancer is the mother of the Zodiac. Some of you could have um, Cancer or Taurus in your chart. What is it that Libra needs to hear? What is it that Libra needs to hear? Okay. That definitely represents courage. Thank you. Wow. Man. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You're going to be surprised. Is what's going to happen. Something is coming in for you. The Six of Pentacles has come out again. It came out during your general reading. Clarifying the fitness um, card. So, and that was more about fitness routines and things like that. But now that we're in the general, this is about receiving the benefits of your hard work. This can be about recognition, unexpected recognition, unexpected um, influx of income as well. I believe I used that correctly. Where it could, sometimes they say it's inheritance, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that. It could be a raise. It could be you winning money off a lottery ticket, like $100 or something like that. It, it could be whatever. Anything that enriches your 3D world, because that's what pinnacles are about, the 3D, it, it's, it's something unexpected, but also it's something balancing out. Don't forget, usually with the Six of Pentacles, there's always that scale. And it's about something balancing out. If you've been putting in good karma, then good karma is going to come back and balance it out. Some of you may feel like you're in five of pentacles energy right now where you may feel that you're left out or that you're not receiving the attention or recognition that you deserve. Or some of you could have been dealing with some health issues that can go back into the general reading where we were clarifying a fitness card and then the six of pentacles came out about that. So if and also during that reading, I had mentioned that I feel like someone is going to get good news from the doctor, like unexpected good news. As well, again, I'm not a licensed medical professional or anything like that. I'm just reading the tarot cards and the energy. But with this Five of Pentacles, any of those things could have been the case. Now, with the Five of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles here, this is letting me know that if you were in Five of Pentacles energy, this Six of Pentacles energy, something comes out. And honestly, I feel it's going to be something new. The reason I say that, either way you add or subtract this, it equals the Ace of Pentacles. If you do 6 minus 5, you get 1, which is the Ace of Pentacles. If you do 6 plus 5, you get 11, which is 1, the Ace of Pentacles. Because 4 plus 6 is 10, then the next one would be the Ace of Pentacles. It would start over again. So I feel there's something new coming in that is going to help you. Some of you is going to put you on a journey. Because the full card came out also during um, the pre-shuffle. The, the chariot card came out, which is also Cancer Energy again. Um, chariot is a victory card is what it is. Also, chariot can be about travel with the full card and the chariot card coming out. Some of you might be thinking about doing some type of traveling. And I really feel this is going to be long distance. I don't feel you're going to drive 25 or 50 miles and be like, oh, I'm traveling, you know, to this town outside of my city. No, I feel like if you are in the Americas, it will be cross, um, traveling across states like cross country. Um, for some of you, I feel like it could be international travel, but honestly, I feel like this is more of a road trip where some of you may be, um, getting in the car and just deciding you want to drive you. And for some of you, I feel like you don't even know where you want to go to. You're just going to drive and you may have the luxury to do that because depending on what amount of resources comes in from the six of pentacles, or you could say ace of pentacles, that those resources will give you the ability to start off on a journey. Some of you, you may just um, relocate all together because you have the resources to do it now. Maybe there was something that you were holding on to, but you didn't have the resources to get you out of it. With this Six of Pentacles coming in with that influx of cash or resources, that will help you start off on your journey starting over again. But obviously, that would take courage as well. And if you are courageous with doing it, that will be one of the things that will more than likely lead to your happiness. Is what that will be. So. It's good energy. You just have to stay focused. 
So yeah, that's all I got for you, Libra. That is your birthday bonus. K-I-R-W-K-C dot com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. K-I-R-W-K-C on all the social media platforms. Till next time, be blessed.